If you want to learn how to track button clicks in Google Analytics, you are in the right place. The first requirement is, you need to have Google Tag Manager implemented onto your site. If you haven't done this yet, check out this step-by-step guide. I'll link it in the description below. Let's jump in. For this video, we will use the search button on the website. We will need to use Google Tag Manager and Google Analytics at the same time. Jumping over to Google Tag Manager. In Google Tag Manager, we need to go first to the variables and configure them. Since we want to track button clicks, we need to first enable all clickable elements so that Google Tag Manager will have access to them. The reason is that we need to identify the unique parameter for the button click. In the next step, we need to create a trigger. We can name this search button click. I'm going to use click all elements and we leave it at all clicks for now. Later, we will specify only some clicks. Save. For this, we don't need to submit the changes. We can use the preview function. After the debugger has loaded the page, we can conduct the search. And, see in the tag assistant. Here's a lot happening. We need to locate the click. Head over to variables. As you can see, here are all the elements we just enabled. Click classes. Click elements. Click ID. Click target. Click text. Click URL. We need to look for a unique parameter. The string will always change, because it has the search term included. So, search submit is probably the closest unique identifier, we can use. Remember we need to check the click classes. Back in Google Tag Manager, we now need to adjust, the click trigger. From all clicks, to some clicks. Click classes, equals, search submit. We save it. In the next step, we need to create a tag, which is the link to Google Analytics. We configure the trigger as Google Analytics. We chose event. And now it's very important to give unique identifiers to category, action, label. We can leave value empty. For the category we use, search, Action. Button click. Label. Search conducted. We need to choose the Google Analytics tracking. This was implemented when we connected Google Analytics and Tag Manager. Now simply select the trigger we just created for the search button click. In the next step, we need to go into Google Analytics. In the settings. Here, we need to create a goal. We name it. Search button click. As an event. In the event conditions, we match the three variables, from our Google Tag Manager tag. And hit, save. One last time in Google Tag Manager. We need to submit the changes. You can skip this. It's time to test the workspace. For that, we have two different options. Number one, we go through the tag assistant one more time. Connect the search. And check the result in Google Tag Manager. We see that the search button tag has been fired. The second test, by the way, I recommend testing both ways, is to go to Google Analytics. Under the real time events, you can see the button click event too. It's working fine. 